figured I'd put this little video out here uh, real quick. I actually want to do some videos and I have a, a, quite a few planned. Um, one of the things I want to do is I want to do a video where um, I go ahead and, and list uh, by system uh, what the most underrated JRPGs are, or JRPGs that, that for instance, no one has really played or talked about, some of the deep cuts, you know, some of the things that, uh, and you know, go in depth about it too, I, I, I thought about doing that, but um, things have been really hectic as you can imagine. I know now would be a perfect time for most people to make videos, but as some of you may know, my job, my, my full-time job is that of a janitor in a hospital. So <laughs> things are really, really um, hectic right now, and I don't really have that much time to game or do anything. And you know, the funny thing is, because uh, protective equipment is so scarce, uh, only the nurses are really getting protective equipment, and us janitors, we're only given uh, very sparsely, let's put it this way, they only give us um, some paper masks when we're in a room, but we have to wait two hours for the, uh, the airborne particulate to settle. And the funny thing is, I actually was extremely sick the first week of March, and I think I might have had it, but since there was no way to actually test, um, I don't know. I was just extremely sick. I had a, a fever of over, I think I had a 100.4 fever. I couldn't smell. Um, I, I had trouble. Br I couldn't breathe out of my nose at all. It made it almost impossible for me to take my temperature because to take your temperature, you have to have your nose, your uh, mouth shut. So I only took my temperature once and only partially, and it was 100.4. And I had a horrible dry cough that, uh, after five days of being sick and finally getting through the, the main part of my sickness, um, I continued coughing, that dry cough, for another week and a half afterward. The funny thing is the, the sickness actually occurred on my PTO week. I took a week off from work and got sick halfway through the week, <laughs> which always seems to be the case. And since that sickness, I've had like off and on body aches and... Um, I get off and on body aches, but, you know, <clears throat> and I a little congested, but nothing serious. So I don't know. It, it does make me worry a bit. Uh, they're finally going to give us some uh, masks where I work. So, you know, that, that should be uh, a big help. So, like I said, there, there's a lot of, a lot of crap going on. I mean, where I'm at, we're getting hit very hard right now. And, uh, us janitors are being called into rooms to clean them, and they're shutting down, uh, not shutting down, but sealing off parts of the, uh, I don't want to do any HIPAA violations here, so I'm not going to say anything more. Just saying that it's bad. <clears throat> you know, it's, it's, it's quite bad. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to prevent me from really updating my channel anytime soon, so don't think like, oh man, Carl's not making any more videos. <laughs> He's given up. He's... No, I actually, there are videos I really want to do, and, and there's games that I want to play, but right now it's just not not a good time. And um, hopefully once you know all, all this stuff blows over, everything will be fine. You know what really ticks me off is that 2020 was supposed to be my year. I had $16,000 of debt left after my uh, split with my ex-wife. And I just finished paying off the last of it this past February, and I thought, man, I get all this money, I can finally save it up, uh, I can, you know, buy a, a new car, I can get a, a new place, you know, I can actually live in a real house, you know, I thought, because I was going to build up 10000 um, I have about 3000 built up now, I was going to build up 10000 put as a down payment this house I was looking at, so, you know, I thought things were really looking up, but the way things are now, it's, uh, I'll tell you the honest truth, I will be lucky to survive to the end of the year, th to be honest. It really has me freaked. So to all you guys out there, I'm saying right now, um, stay inside, do not go out, uh, 
if, if you're non-essential, if you're not a healthcare worker or a grocery store clerk or whoever is considered essential, don't go out. And if you do go to work, you know, make sure they give you some gear, uh, do something because uh, you, you stay home. You know, I'm going out on the street to work five, six days a week to my hospital where I work and I'm seeing cars, and tons and tons of cars on the road. And I don't, I don't understand why there's so many people out on the road. They should be done. They should be home. They shouldn't be outside. But people are raiding Walmart. They're raiding Home Depot. I saw a guy with a truck that had like two by fours and metal sheets going out of the side of his window, like he was getting ready to rebuild his entire house. I was like, what? You just stay the frig home, dude. That's the reason why we're not through this yet, is because people don't stay home. Just stay home. Think about me who's working his ass off in a completely infected hospital and who's been fighting body aches for the past two weeks. You know, don't think about someone like me. So just, just stay home, dude. Just stay home and relax and, uh, and follow, the, uh, follow the guidelines that the experts are putting out there because they're the ones you're going to have to listen to, uh, not, not the Internet, not uh, Facebook, you know. So anyway... Uh, like I said, we'll, I'll get some videos probably out on my channel once all this stuff blows over, but uh, might not be anytime soon. So just letting you know I have not forgotten about my channel. Be safe.